Hey, you're looking in the wrong direction. Come along, follow me and I'll tell you a story about a very special part of the Dune School. It's a story of a journey that started 75 years ago and is still continuing today. Now, when this story began, this area wasn't even a part of Chanbag. It was called the Skinner's Estate. And school acquired the land to create a living space for the boys called, well, no prizes for guessing, Jaipur House. It was a different world back then in the 1930s. Boys from this house had to wear uniforms created for India's first public school. The Harlequin shirts, I mean, I used to wear one of these. The, the prickly wool stockings held up by garters. The old style shorts and the, <laughs> the Peshawari chappals and, oh no, wait a minute, the waist high trousers. Thank heavens we never had to wear trousers like that in our time. The rule back then was that every boy had to wear a hat while in the sun. The boys never quite took to this British habit and soon this hat was tossed, giving way to a new one. That's how it was back then. The, the winds of Indian nationalism was in the air. And quite incredibly, this sentiment was even encouraged by our British schoolmasters. On, on one occasion, when the Viceroy came to visit the school, I think he must have expected the boys to sing God Save the King. But instead, the boys, amongst them voices from Jaipur House, stood to attention and, take it away, boys. <laughs> We must always remember that this was our school song before it became the national anthem. The freedom struggle, as we all know, led to independence. We made our tryst with destiny. But the British left by heaping one last indignity on a country. Some crazy Englishman cut a line right across the heart of India, separating Muslim from Hindu. That Englishman didn't realize that many, like boys from Jaipur House, belonged to one family. But the story of Jaipur House continued. So come along, we, we're only just getting warmed up. By the late 40s and 50s, the house was coming into its own. Boys from different backgrounds and occasionally a girl entered an egalitarian world, children of Boxwalas, Maharajas, civil servants, farmers, all lived happily alongside each other. You, you boys happy? See, they're happy. They all had equal privileges or the lack of them. This diverse bunch was united by sounds that filtered in from the outside world. Like the rest of the world, the boys had discovered rock and roll. Even though they only had each other to dance with, the J-House boy was on his way to becoming cool. Sorry about that, you'll, you'll find some girls eventually. But obviously being cool wasn't everything for them. The 60s was a time for war and, and the house stepped up to the challenge. On the first day of the first major war that India ever fought, a Jaipur house boy won the Mahavir Chakra. Many medals followed down the years. The boys gave their blood and their bravery. Their stories are not just part of Jay House history, but of this country's as well. Away from the war front, boys from this house were fighting a different kind of battle across different professions and indeed across the world. The J House boy was making his mark. Doctors, lawyers, academics, entrepreneurs, politicians. But 
amidst all these professions that I just mentioned, there was obviously something about the air of this house that bred creativity, and I can still smell it. Che House, writers, artists, designers, performers rule the media world in India. And I could stand here and chat a lot more about these guys, but I really should move on. The house's journey has been a long one, and we've got to keep moving. <laughs> now, this is a familiar sight, isn't it? Come on, let's take a look inside. Jaipur House's success over the decades would not have been possible without the help of the people behind the scenes, without the help of the support staff. Every step of the way has been aided by people who will always be remembered. The unbroken chain of events that started 75 years ago also led the boys to some of the most powerful influences in their lives. From then till date, housemasters, tutors and the assistants have shaped the character of this house. Many of these names are now legends, institutions by themselves. Some are here, some have gone. But none will be forgotten. And now, on a lighter note, I'm sure all of you remember this walkway. That side used to be JB, this side used to be JA. It's all one house now. With the coming of the new millennium, Jaipur House got the makeover it so desperately needed. In my time, it looked like this. Today, it looks like this. That's quite a transformation for you too. I, I knew your dad, you're a step up. And now there's an area of the house that I think all of you would love to see. Many of you who lived here in the last millennium would, would be specially amazed at seeing the bogs. Just, I mean, just take a look at these bogs. As five star as can be. <laughs> nice. Get out, you <laughs> yep, sh sure. The, um, the, I can tell you, one thing that hasn't changed, it's language. Yeah, keep it up in there. But fancy bogs or not, Jaipur House's essential culture still remains the same. The nicknames, however, have got a lot more inventive over the years. You thought ours were bad, right? Just take a look at some of these. Hyena, Laughing Tempest, Pongo, Tarzan, Naga Chief, who ah, is Chut Tarzan, Skydiver, yeah, I remember that. That is one from my time. That's a great story. I'll tell you about that later. It's been a long walk through the decades. Jaipur House has seen so many different boys, so many different ages. What one wonders keeps all of this together? What is the strength behind all this brick and mortar? The truth is, it is this. Spirit. The spirit of the house will always carry it forward. The chain of events that started back in 1930s will always move ahead. 
With spirit like this, J House is going to keep the journey going for a very long time. So boys, how about it? Shall we? All right, Jeff Rouse, come on down. Jabber House, here's to the next 75 years. Well, now is a good time as any. So boys, one, two, three. Go Jabber!